And so now I'm in ministry. I'm doing all this stuff. You got to see me. You got to, yeah, I'm the prophesier. I'm the preacher. You know, it's no longer about Jesus. It's about me. Okay. When I lay my hands on you, the demon going to fall. It's about me. It's no longer about, man, look how great this guy named Jesus is. And the reason why it's no longer about him is because y'all not spending time no more. <laughs> Welcome back to those of you who come back. It's your girl with another video. It's 2022. It doesn't feel like a new year. It really, really doesn't. I'm just here, just living life. It does not feel like a new year at all. But anyways, I just want to talk about this, this word intentional. Okay. So when I think about intentional, I think about intent. In every relationship, there is some type of intent intent there's some type of effort that's put forth you know what i'm saying to get to know somebody and oftentimes you know that effort is put forth out of genuine you know love or concern not even concern but like interest yeah interest for that person you put an effort because you find the person interesting so it brings me back to the beginning of my walk with christ all my life as a young kid i found god so interesting i found god interesting i wanted to get to know god i wanted to know him you know what I'm saying? And I was in church today at this service and they brought up this verse like about, okay, so if you who are evil knows how to do good things for your children, how much so would the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? And then the, the preacher said, he's like, you know what? Um, when we get the Holy Spirit, let us not switch up because he promised to give us the Holy Spirit. But when we get the Holy Spirit, let's not switch up our pursuit of him. And it just reminded me of the times before when I would seek God in the times now. And it just shows me a lax, like, like we, I'm chillax, you know what I'm saying? Like now that I got the Holy Spirit, now that he gave it to me, now that he allowed me to, you know, feel him, like he gave me some of his presence and he gave me some gifts and some talents. Now I'm just relaxing, you know what I'm saying? Because I could flow in the spirit and preach and teach and do this, that, and a fifth. And so we just start relaxing and we forget the person that we used to seek and then we become less and less intentional we put less and less effort and if anybody ever has done this to you like if you had a friend or somebody um and then you started you know chilling with them and you saw that they start backing up and putting less effort and just devaluing your friendship or your relationship you will feel sick and it hurts it hurts so bad and it's like we don't really think when we do it to God, you know what I'm saying? We just think about how much it hurts when it's done to us. You know, and another thing I also notice is like, even in ministry, like oftentimes when we get close to God, all right, boom, you get close to God, God starts giving you gifts. He starts giving you a calling. He starts giving you assignments. You know, he starts moving you, putting you places in your church and stuff like that to start ministering and you start ministering. And then our motivation you know, what happens is when we lose the intent and we lose the interest in God, what happens is our motive starts to shift for the things that we're doing in God. And so before you started teaching just because you want to proclaim the good news about how great this man is because you love him so much, because you seek him, because you spent time with him, because he was the lover of your soul, because he healed you, because he found you when you were lost, right? Before that's the motivation for what you were doing right but as we stop seeking god and we stop being intentional what happens is our motive starts to shift and our motive starts to begin to be for the acknowledgement of man so people can see us you know what i'm saying so now i'm in ministry i'm doing all this stuff you gotta see me you gotta yeah i'm the prophesier i'm the preacher you know it's no longer about jesus it's about me okay when i lay my hands on you the demon gonna fall it's about me it's no longer about man look how great this guy named jesus is and the reason why it's no longer about him is because y'all not spending time no more like you don't find him marvelous anymore so you give the glory to yourself and you start you know lifting yourself up and your motive so what you're doing in the kingdom is not even him anymore and you know when that's the case two things could happen one you get burnt out two 
another spirit comes over you and you just fall into a delusion okay and we don't want that um but yeah it just goes to show me like man how far have i i gone like how far have we strayed from the throne of god like when we used to seek him when we used to run after him when we used to take chase him and now it's like we're so like you spend so much time away you're just just chilling now and it's like it's odd it's strange it's different you know what i'm saying when you're thinking about the time when you used to spend it with god it's like it's just different now it's not the same you know because that's what happens when you stop spending time with a person you tend to forget who that person is you know what i'm saying like things just you know it, they change but the funny thing is when you get back to that person you start to remember again who this person is how great this person was all the great things they did for you it just takes for you to get back into that person's presence it just takes for you to get back to talking to that person to making time to meet up with that person and then you start remembering the great qualities because you start to experience the great qualities you know what i'm saying not saying that um that person you couldn't have experienced those qualities before because some people even when you back up off of them they still there for you and that's how god is even when when you back up off of him there's he's still there for you you might not be acknowledging his great qualities but his great qualities are still there and that's his love you know what i'm saying that's just to give glory to his love you know i've come back to this word intentional because i feel like um at the end of last year that was just a word god was placing on my heart and it's like the 13th of january and i understand why because i'm like man I fell out of my intent, you know what I'm saying? And I just want to encourage all of y'all that are watching, it is very important that you don't fall out of love with Jesus. It's very important that you don't fall out of your intent. When I say intent, meaning like making time for him, making time to seek him. Don't think because he is using you in these capacities that you could just be chilling like you good like i could preach i pick up the bible i preach today and you think you good you know that's a deception we could fall into because god will give you the gift okay he will use you for the benefit of other people so yeah you could pick up a verse and preach it but if you don't have god <clears throat> like if you don't have jesus you know how precious is jesus to you do you rather be used and seen by other people or is jesus still precious to you you know what i'm saying and, and uh, another thing is i feel like we have to be when it comes to being intentional there are some things we're just gonna have to push ourselves to do you know what i'm saying i know a lot of times we're like oh i don't want to do this because it's legalistic or i'm forcing it or this that stuff sometimes you're gonna have to force your little fleshly self to do certain things okay you're gonna have to push it you know what i'm saying you're gonna have to force some time out you're gonna have to be like okay an hour every morning or an hour every day after I come from work, you're going to have to force some time. Either way, you're going to have to get before the throne. You're going to have to open up your Bible. You're going to have to spend some quiet time with him. It is so important. And I know our lives are so busy, but it's so essential. It's so important to spend time with God daily, you know. And when we spend time with God, I don't mean just wake up, spend an hour, and then dip. And then don't say nothing to him all day. That's not what I mean. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I don't know about you. Because if, if you just, like, I'm I'm just speaking off of me. If I'm cool with you, sis, and you call me today, and then throughout the day, you don't think of me, or you don't, I feel some type of way. I, I really do. Especially if we're supposed to be real, real cool. I expect you to be thinking about me. I expect you to be checking up on me. You know what I'm saying? If it's like 12 a.m. and you don't see me, I expect you to call me. That's just human example but how much more the lord of hosts the king of kings who lives and abides within you and for you to tell me you're gonna go the whole day and not acknowledge him and not talk to him and not thank him throughout the day girl you better talk to jesus throughout the day you better talk to him throughout the day okay it's important for us to consistently you know he doesn't just stay in our closet he doesn't just stay in that hour that we spent you know when we open up the bible and then we close it that's it no you could take him with you throughout the day that's what we got to do you know what i'm saying don't just you know spend the time and then leave him there take him with you take him in your difficulty take him you know when you mess up man i just yelled at this person that was not necessary jesus talk to him you know what i'm saying take him with you you know he is your friend he is everything and he's always there you know and he's not confined to an hour every second of the day you could be talking to god 
anyways this is where the video is going to end you know i feel like the word intentional is so good for me to start this year despite the fact that it doesn't feel like a new year for, to me at all but i feel like that word intentional is great for me <laughs> so anyways thank you guys for tuning in until next time i'll see y'all next time next time